Well, what happened was that somebody didn't like that we had a Trump sign in our yard, knocked it down, and ran completely over it. You can see the trademark over top of the sign, even. Obviously, somebody that travels this road isn't happy with us. About what time do you think you'll be down tomorrow? Uh, I would imagine five, six, or well, five is, is generous, probably six, seven. All right. That's it. Thanks, Mom. You did an awesome job and uh, a good first interview. Okay. I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Love you. Bye. So, I mean, bottom line is you're pissed. I am pissed. I'm pissed about everything that's happening. I'm depressed, I'm angry because of the things that's going on, not just in this country, but all over the world. And I'm sick and tired of it, and I'm angry about it. So anyway, I made my own sign. I took a stencil and, and painted a sign, uh, put it out in the front yard in front of our home, and one time during the night, uh, it was run over top of it. I went out and I found it that way and I straightened it back up, wiped the sign off from mud from the tire tracks, put it back in the ground, and sure enough, how long was it before it was run over again? Uh, about two weeks. Two weeks, it was run over again. So again, I put it back up. So that time, I thought about putting a, a, some kind of a trap out out there that it would blow the tires out of somebody. But other people advised me that's a bad thing to do. I might get into trouble for that. So I, I abandoned that idea. Well, I think this running over the sign twice, I think is a perfect example of the mood of a lot of people stop Trump. And I, I, if they think running over my sign, our sign, is going to defer me from voting for Trump or, or liking him or thinking that he can solve a lot of these problems. Now, he can't, I know he can't solve them all, and I know he makes some pretty radical statements. But all in all, he's got the right ideas from, from a business standpoint, from a financial standpoint, this world is all screwed up, and it's Obama's fault. We know that you're not a Republican. Before you come down, we make a pact. We're not going to watch Fox News as much, and we're not going to talk politics because I know that you and your father can go nose to nose, and I don't want that to happen. I, d I don't have what a I want to do and have and I force myself to do is to not talk about it, but not to try to convince you because I think you're already convinced. So, so you think I'm convinced? How do you? What do you think I'm convinced? I think you're convinced that you're a Democrat, and I think you're wrong, but that's your, that's choice. your choice. I don't understand why, but I, I accept it. I accept it. It's just like a kid that does wrong. He goes out and he, he steals or he robs a bank. He's still your son, and it doesn't matter what he does. He's still your child. That's the way I feel about you. I love you, but I, I want to, I don't want to talk about it because I know you're already convinced there's no point, there's no point in, in, in fussing with you. So you, you've made it very clear that you're angry. Absolutely. Why? Tell me. Well, it affected, it affected my employees, which was a lot at that time. Um, had almost 100 employees, 
and uh, it affected them because they're losing their job. Where are they going to go? What are they going to do? Jobs moving to Mexico and jobs moving to China and my uh, business started to go down, 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 down. And then I saw them asking us to move moles out to Mexico and that kind of thing. So, can you talk about that? That literally happened to you? Oh yeah, yeah. I the um, the moles were um, they requested I put the mold uh, and they'd send a truck in and you'd put the mold in and they, you know you'd have to put on the bill where it's going. And uh, we did that, and a lot of it was Mexico. Well, most of it was Mexico that left. You have to keep on going. You can't slow down. You can't stop. You can't give up. Never give up. Never, 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 never give up. And that's, that's part of it. And that never, never, never give up, where, did, where does that come from? Being an entrepreneur. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you can't give up. If you want to be in business, you can't give up. You got to keep on. You got to keep, keep plugging. It's like the movie Giant that I like. When Jed Rink was drilling for oil, he drilled oil with every blood, sweat, and tear he had, every penny he could scrape up, and finally, the oil gusher came in. inspired me more than any movie or anything could have other than my father. And so that that's kind of in my blood to be an entrepreneur. Even even today, uh, after retirement, I I've, I have that urge to get into something that's new that that would make money. And that's the whole objective of things that makes money. And that's, that's why I lean towards Trump. You know, he, he's very rich. And you know, a lot of people uh, are uh, against um, a rich man, but you know what? I'm not against a rich man because I think this way. If I was as smart as Trump was, I'd be rich too. What is, what is the American dream to you? Being rich, <laughs> yeah. It means to me, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be rich. Yeah. I'll never, never be that, but that—that that was the goal when I was younger, right up to, right up to now. Well, I hope he thinks that I'm stubborn enough and energetic enough to continue to do that and that I'm really for our Trump. <laughs> yeah, you, you always think about that. You think about that. That the, the guy that's, that did it may be the one driving by right now. Could be. When you go down to get the mail or the paper and you see trap. I look at that sign every time I go down to get the paper or drive by it. I look at it all the time and I'm looking for vandalism. And I'm, I'm also afraid that somebody will take a spray paint and paint over it or, or vandalize that. So that, that's, that's my fear. But uh, the sign's gonna stay there as long as I can keep it there until the election's over. We're gonna win so much, you're gonna get tired of winning. We're gonna win, win, win. Donald Trump's rise to political prominence has been accompanied by a culture of fear. What the hell is going on? We're going to build a wall. Global Jihad.